Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. Javante Tank Davis already reacted to the Oscar Valdez KO win over Miguel Berchelt. And now Mayweather Promotion CEO Leonard Ellerby jumps in the mix because people start trying to slander Tank's win over Leo Santa Cruz and say he needs to fight Oscar Valdez. And I'm going to talk about that whole situation in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Let's jump right in the mix. Now, I made a video about it. Gervonta Davis had responded to the Oscar Valdez performance. Somebody, you know, said something on Twitter, and he responded that he would tuck Oscar Valdez in, meaning he would beat him, he would sleep him, he would knock him out, he would defeat him. I made a video about that, so if you want more detail on that particularly, check out one of my more recent videos where I talked about that. You'll see it in the title. But then, after he said that, you know, he made that comment about Oscar Valdez, he'll tuck him in. You've seen fans jump in, like, because, so fans are saying Tank versus Oscar Valdez, anyone, and they started putting this, like, side-by-side -side picture. Then you've seen fans jump in saying that Tank only fights small guys, but he won't fight, Gervonta won't fight against Oscar Valdez. And listen to what Leonard Ellerby said. Let me zoom in for you. Maybe that's a bit too close. Yeah, that's just about right. He says, LOL, hold up. Leo Santa Cruz is far more accomplished than Oscar Valdez. But he was too small, right? Valdez comes from featherweight 126, but he's not too small. Which narrative is it? Can't have it both ways. By the way, Tank would knock him the uck out. Wow. Listen, Ego Stradamus strikes again. This is exactly what I said on my channel. Once again, you have fickle boxing fans. And at this point, it's, it's becoming comedy. Listen, this is not a knock on Oscar Valdez. He's a fighter. He showed you that. He fought like a true fighter. I don't have, you know, really anything negative to say about his performance. I did see some flaws there, um, namely in the middle rounds, which I went over, where he let Berchel back in the fight after really hurting him bad, and his legs were stiff, and he, he gave Berchel really an opportunity to recover a bit. And I thought he was using and moving more than he really needed to he needed to just be sound defensively kind of pick his spots and um pick his shots and hold his ground because Berchelt, he has heart you know so he was after he got hurt he, he tried to regain himself and you know he was trying to stalk forward and later on valdez did that and then that's when he hurt him again and then valdez you know poured more pressure on and Berchel was behind, so he started making mistakes, and then he got knocked out for it. So it was a it was a very fun um, performance from Oscar Valdez. Not quite the Mexican war that ESPN built it up to be. Like it, you can't hold that in the same vein as Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. It uh, you know it doesn't fit like that because those fights were like all out, tooth and nail. Both guys were getting off. This was really just Oscar Valdez showing that he was faster, he boxed better, he was smarter, you know, and then it culminated with the a hurt opponent, and then he knocked him out, you know. So it was pretty much one-way traffic through most of the fight, except for kind of that middle spot after Berchelt was already hurt. But this is the same point that I made that Leonard Ellerby of Mayweather Promotions is making. People are complaining, saying Tank is so big and you know he knocked leo santa cruz out but leo came from the smaller divisions and he fought at featherweight he was a champion at featherweight i think the carl frampton fight i covered was at featherweight and valdez recently moved up and this 
you know how the song this is america don't catch me slipping now this is boxing this is what you always see so just on friday a lot of people including myself didn't have enough faith that oscar valdez was going to be able to put it all together to beat bear Chelt. but then now seeing is believing and seeing that he did it now all of a sudden everybody is you know on the gravy train and it's just funny to see how that works and if I'm not mistaken, Bear Chilt has, I know he lost before. I think he'd been stopped before too. Versus Leo Santa Cruz. I think that was impressive with the Leo Santa Cruz knockout for Tank. So you guys got to know your boxing. The thing that was um, impressive in the Tank fight is Leo Santa Cruz was actually, Leo Santa Cruz had more of a fighting effort in his fight with Tank than Bear Chilt. Bear Chilt was, he, he kind of looked bad. I don't know. Someone, the ESPN telecast was saying he was weight drained and all this. I don't know, but he definitely wasn't. He didn't look like the bear chelt that fought. <laughs> that picture looked crazy. I don't know why. I don't know. Am I bugging? I don't know. It's the hairline. I don't know, man. Whatever. Hold on. Let me find. Where's his record at? Why does it look like this? Hold on. See, look, two losses, two KO. Yeah, I knew it. He had been stopped before. So it was it was a great knockout, but he had been stopped in 2014 by Luis Eduardo Flores, who only had 16 fights and a loss. You know what I'm saying? So this dude, and now he, has, <laughs> he, he, he looks like a club fighter based on his record, 25, 18, 11 knockout. You know what I'm saying? So this guy beat him. So, I'm, wow, look at all the red on his, look. Wow, he looking like a blood, like the game. Yeah, cedar black blood. I said fresh like, uh, Impala, uh, chrome hydraulics, 808 drums, you don't want none. When beef is on, I pop that. See, this is the same guy who knocked out Miguel Berchelt before. And lost to Regis Progre, Sharif Bogare, another Mayweather Promotions fighter, Leonardo Tyner. Damn, he fought everyone though. I give him that. Jamel Herring. Damn, he fought every, he fought hella people. See, look, he knocked out Bearchild in 2014 after he had, he was one or so fights removed, two fights removed from a loss. You know what I'm saying? And he's since lost more. But anyway, the point I'm making is Leo Santa Cruz, I know for a fact, you look at his record, that he has one knockout loss. He has a loss before, but it was... Um, yo, what is good? This website tripping today. He lost to Frampton, but you could have argued, you know, it was a close fight, the first fight. See, I knew it. He's only been knocked out by Tank. So the point... I know a lot of people this see this is this is funny because when when people say like Leonard Ellerby made with the promotions myself when people say stuff that others don't want to hear they play dumb the point is simple Leo came from featherweight smaller division and got knocked out Oscar Valdez also came from a lighter division and the unfortunate thing is if this fight were to happen if Tank did beat Oscar Valdez I feel it would be excuses. You know, people would make excuses saying, oh, Oscar is really a featherweight, just like they did with Leo Santa Cruz. What, I mean, what's the difference? What's the difference? And that's kind of what Leonard Ellerby, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say, oh, Leo was undersized, but then another person that came from the lighter divisions, you want him to fight him because he's coming off a great performance. Okay, make the fight, but just don't make any excuses if... Oscar Valdez doesn't win, right? So this is where Tank said, I will tuck him in like a baby. And Leonard Ellerby agrees, said 100. Um, what else? He said, Ish, all the hate Tank only fought guys from 126. Seems like the shoe fits Valdez. I don't want to hear no excuses when Tank, when Tank sleep Oscar Valdez. He a true champion at 130. LOL, you know what it is. And then, like, see, fans like this is just wilding. Oscar Valdez will do what Mayweather did to Canelo. 
And he says one problem though. This is Leonard Ellerby. One problem though. He's not Mayweather. Like, w did like where do these boxing fans come from? You know what I mean? And, and like the thing is this, I like Oscar Valdez. I like his performance. He did his thing. Let it be that. But to compare him to Mayweather, like, did you really see that? Like, again, I just showed you Bear Child had been stopped before by a journeyman in 2014. Even though he worked his way back up and became a champion and whatnot, that's the that's the case. It's it's not like it was never done before, right? So to do what Mayweather did to Canelo, then you're basically asserting that in this equation, Valdez is Mayweather. And like I said, for me, I, I didn't see, I seen some mistakes, little things that Oscar can tighten up. But I, I'm, you know, I'll probably say that for another video because people, if I start pointing out stuff, you know, people start crying, saying, oh, you hate Oscar Valdez and all this weird stuff, right? A lot of goofy stuff going on in the game. So I agree with Ellerby. Valdez is Valdez. He did his thing, but he's not Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Did you really see a Mayweather? Um, people are already starting to anoint Canelo's trainer and, and Canelo team. And he says he's an excellent coach, Eddie Reynoso, who's off to a great start, but let's not crown him yet. Ego Stradama strikes again. Exactly what I said. What happens if one of his main fighters gets clipped in 2021? Or Jamel and Errol Spence become undisputed this year or both. Jesus, only February. That's what I'm saying. Boxing is, is a lot of goofy energy. Like, how can you say what's a knockout of the year and Showtime, Fox, hasn't even released their schedule on top of, we don't know all of DAZN's schedule. We don't know all of top rank ESPN's schedule. How do we know what the knockout of the year is? We don't even know what all the fights are. You know, how do we know trainer of the year and we're not even in March yet. It's been two months. And and Canelo, his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, he did a great job with Oscar Valdez. But this week, he's fighting. Canelo's fighting. That's not, not a fight that most people think should be hard for Canelo. So does that make you trainer of the year? Coaching Canelo to beat Avni Yildrum? <laughs> Y'all crazy in the comment section. But... You got to pick your poison. Either you want to see Tank and Oscar Valdez. I think it's a great fight. Make it happen. Tank said it would tuck him in. Make it happen. You know, if not, make the Shakur Stevenson fight happen. But ultimately, I, I'd probably rather see the Shakur Stevenson fight. It's easier to make. Both of the guys are um, with top rank. And Shakur is calling them out. Woom, woom, woom. So I think that would be probably the better idea. Um, Tank, you know, he's, he's starting to get this Mayweather type of hate where nothing he does is good enough. And there's always going to be excuse. Like when Mayweather cooked Canelo and beat him up, you know, people said he was too green. He wasn't ready, but he had been calling out Floyd for over a year and a half. Same thing with Leo Santa Cruz. He physically looked bigger than Tank and he gets clipped in a fight where he was doing good and he gets cooked in a round where he was winning. But they say Leo's too small. But now some of the same people want to see Oscar Valdez, who came from the same light division, lighter division, fight Tank. So I just feel like it's going to be a pre-built excuse if Tank were to win. So hopefully we get some good fights this year. I don't know. You know, I don't know who Tank's fighting, but hopefully it's good. I don't think it's going to be Ryan Garcia straight off the bat, but... Tank responded to Oscar Valdez. He said he'll tuck him in like a baby. So we'll see. Let me know what fights you guys want to see. Also, order TubeBuddy. Use my link. It does help the channel. TubeBuddy is a browser extension to help grow your YouTube. They have a lot of resources. It's a utility tool that's built in. A lot of stuff that you can't get just uploading videos on YouTube directly. So use my link. It does help the channel. If you're serious about your channel, it takes money to make money. I've used it successfully for years. And we're over 200,000 subs now. So let's get it. Two buddy. Use my link. Also ESPN plus link in the description. These are affiliates and we have partnerships on my channel with them. So check them out. Does help the channel as always. Hate comment and subscribe to the next videos. Ego sign up. What up fight world It's your boy ego. And I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's 
be water and much more with an espn plus subscription you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the ufc big names like hi i'm mike tyson come and watch my fight floyd may with easy work i'm rich and manny pacquiao uh yes it's up to my promoter do, 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 do. just to name a few if that's not enough you could get the espn bundle which includes espn plus hulu and disney plus all three apps one low price you don't want to miss out make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing